In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a motion capture file onto your biped. So if you want to do something that's a little more complex than just walking, it'll be really easy to do and you won't have to do it by hand. The files we're going to use are called BIP files, which is a .bip. That's the standard motion capture file. You can find these online if you Google free BIP downloads and they have a ton of them. I've listed a link to the one I used. We've also given you the two that we're going to need for this video. So let's start by creating a biped just like we did in the last video. Something I forgot to mention in the last video, which is pretty important, if you ever want to move your biped, you have to do it by going into the motion tab and clicking this button that says move all mode. If you try to move your biped like a normal object, it's not going to work too well. So this move all mode will let you reposition the entire biped. So what we'll be using to add our motion capture is called the mixer mode, which acts as a little video editing system inside 3ds Max. So if we click the mixer icon and then click the button that actually says mixer, that'll bring out the motion mixer window, which kind of looks like the dope sheet that we used before. What we're actually going to do is mix two separate motion capture files and blend them together so it looks like one smooth motion. So to do this, let's right click inside the first track and we're going to select convert to transition track. You don't have to do this if you're only going to use one motion capture file, but you do need to do this to mix two files and what that's going to do is add in the transition between the files that make it look smooth. So once that's done, we can right click again and go down to new clips from files and then we can select one of the files we've given to you. So we're going to start with the cool walk file and hit open. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to actually increase and decrease the scale on the bottom so we can see more of our track. So now we can drag our slider and see how our biped reacts. What we want to do is find a good place for our transition into the next file. So I'm going to stop around keyframe 85. And then we can use the trim command in the mixer to clip the rest of the file. So if we just drag the end over to keyframe 85, that will get rid of all the stuff we're not going to use. Then click on the trim again to exit that. Now we right click and now we can add our new file, which is going to be the fighting. So now we see if we drag this over, we get this new transition clip. What that's going to do is let us control this so we can make a smooth transition between the two clips. The actual fighting stance we want doesn't start for a few frames in, so we can use the trim command again to clip off the front of the file. Once we've clipped off what we needed to, we can slide the top clip back over to decrease the transition time. So now if we replay this animation, what you'll see is the transition still isn't quite smooth. He actually slides to the next position. So what we can do is readjust these clips and overlap them so we get a smoother transition. The trim command can also be used to extend a clip if we need to. So what we're going to do is extend our transition so it overlaps with our other two tracks. Now if we replay this, it still slides a little bit, but it's a little bit better. So we can just play around with that a little bit until we get the smooth transition that we want. So I'm just going to slide these back and forth and then keep replaying it to see what happens. That looks like a pretty smooth transition. You can't really see the slide anymore. Uh, 
so I think that'll be good enough for now. So now if we just replay this, we can see the full animation. So next what we want to do is just use the trim command to cut off the rest of the fighting clip to make it a little shorter. So once we have the clips cut down to the length we want them, then go over to the left here where it has the name of our biped and right click on that. And then we want to select Compute Mix Down. What that's going to do is combine our two separate tracks into one whole track, which you can see right here. And then we want to right click on that and click Copy to Biped. And now what that's going to do is create the keyframes we need for this animation. So now when we leave mixer mode, our character still maintains its motion. So now we can play this back to see the final animation. So if you only want to use one motion file for your animation, it's actually a little easier. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So if we just create a new biped, then we can go into our mixer mode and open up the mixer. You'll see a new track here. And all you have to do is go right to your new clip. And you can select the clip right there. So you don't have to create a transition track this time. And then you just right click on that clip and select copy to biped again. But this time we don't have to do the compute mix down step. So now we can leave our mixer mode and replay this. And now we just have the one track on top of that biped. So in the last video, I showed you how you can keyframe different body positions. But in this video, I'm going to show you a better way to do it. So if we click our biped and go into the layers tab, we can select the option that says create layer. Just like before, we'll need to be in auto key mode for this. The difference this time is we don't have to overwrite any other keys. We can just set up these new keys and auto key them like normal. And it'll create this as a separate layer on top of the original animation. So once we replay it, you can see that motion's maintained. You can animate either of the characters we've given you in the file and create an animation something like this. The, the process is exactly the same. The only difference is now you have a skin on top of your biped.